Hello. So the other day I was going through some of the inches that I have left and I came across one that I had shot a couple of videos of very early in the year back in January and that is this the OS FS Alpha 110 engine. Now at that time I did a quick look or a look inside video and then only a single run video. But during that run video it seemed to me after running it and seeing the RPM levels that with the given prop and the fuel it did not seem to achieve the proper or at least the peak RPM that was shown in that review article. So while I was doing the inspection on that engine I think I noted that the connecting rod looked really beat up externally. Well it turns out that it actually had a really poor fitment issue between the hole on the connecting rod and the crank pin. In fact at one time I did take a short little video showing the amount of slop in that uh, but I think I must have accidentally deleted it because I can't find it now. But if you just kind of wiggle the crankshaft back and forth you can see the connecting rod move just a little bit and you could see the oil that was in there kind of oozing out all around it when you moved it. That should not be the case for con connecting rod fitment. Now I do not believe that that's necessarily the only reason why I wasn't achieving uh, peak RPM but it, it's definitely not a good condition because if I would ever run that engine continuously or much more uh, that would be a mode of failure. So at the time I looked to see if I could find a replacement connecting rod for that engine and I couldn't find one and I think I was just using uh, just OSFS Alpha 110 connecting rod as my search parameters and I was coming up with absolutely nothing. Well a few weeks ago I looked at the manual and I actually started doing a part number search and I had a hit for the same part number but the packaging uh, for the connecting rod said OS Alpha 81P or Alpha 81 engine. Uh, so I was beginning, I, I went back and forth between the two manuals and I made sure that the part numbers were the same but those two engines have a different bore and stroke and I figured well I don't, it's unlikely that OS would have made such a huge mistake in a part number so I took a chance and I went ahead and I ordered the one last connecting rod probably maybe in the world because there was only one I found and it's on its way at that time that I did the look inside, I also decided, well, these bearings feel fine for my needs. I'm not going to, you know, replace them, but they did really feel kind of clunky. Because I wasn't planning on running that engine anymore. And if I was, I was figuring it was just going to be some destructive testing. But for, because there aren't a whole lot of Alpha 110 videos on YouTube, I figured, what the heck, I'll invest another $40 in this engine. The connecting rod was like $26, $30 and another set of bearings so I can get this engine more up to snuff and in a better operating condition. Now at the same time I did notice that the push rods seemed like they might have been mushroomed a little bit or just maybe not perfect. I did find a set of push rods for this engine but I opted not to purchase them because even though that the push rod length if they're crushed down could have a significant, significant impact on the peak RPM. I just didn't really want to spend that extra another $15, $20 on this engine just for push rods. So we'll see if that was a mistake or not. But I've got these, the connecting rod is on its way here and I've got the bearings in hand. So I'm probably, I don't know if I'm going to make a, a, a reassembly video of this engine or not, but this video is just one to tell you that you will be seeing this engine again in the near future running. I've yet to determine whether or not I'm actually going to uh, show a video of me reassembling the engine or not. But anyway, that's uh, what's coming up here probably in the next month or so. Thank you.